Hi there, so today's video we are going to do DIY beauty treatments and for this video I have chosen to do the hands. Um, we're going to do a five part hand treatment. So you can do all five parts, you can do one, two, three, however many you want, you can mix and match however you choose to do this yourself at home. So, first of all, let me say that this is in collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. That's Maria from Maria Crocker, Karen, Geordie Grandma, and Tina from Tina's Talk Time. I will insert their channels in my description box. Please, after watching this one, pop over to theirs. We've all chosen to do a different um, body part, should I say, and um, I hope you really enjoy this video. Now for the hand soak, you do need a bowl. I went to the dollar store and got this plastic bowl and I also got two bags of these Pretty Rock just to make it seem like an extra luxurious treatment. So for this hand soak, you will need some Epsom salts, some baking soda, zest from a lime, and then if you have mint essential oil, uh, pop some of that in. I don't have mint, I have peppermint. So I'm gonna use that just see it probably won't work that well with the lime, but I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> then you need some warm water. <laughs> so this is my little setup. I just sat it on top of a, a towel and then I've got another towel on hand just to dry off as soon as I take my hands out of the water. My favorite part of a full body massage is when they do my hands. I think that once the hands are relaxed, the whole body just becomes relaxed. And I think also with the feet as well. I used to go, oh my gosh, what was that called? When they just do your feet, I've forgotten what that's called. But they touch certain areas of your feet and it correlates to di different parts of your body. And it was so weird that I had been waking up with um, like a really bad neck pain. And when I went to go have this, oh gosh, what is it called? Not a pedicure. I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. But um, she said to me, oh, are you having problems with the left side of your neck? And I was like, yeah. She said, I can tell from this part of your foot which I think is so interesting, but I know a lot of Chinese medicine, they do that kind of thing as well. Like one part of the body correlates to another part. This is so relaxing and it does actually smell really good. It smells just like a spa, it's lovely. So anyway, you wanna soak your hands for 15 minutes. Next, we're going to do a scrub. So this calls for pink Hawaiian, sorry, pink Himalayan salt. Um, I thought I had that, but I don't. Um, I've just read the bag and it says Al Alaya sea salt, medium grains. And I'm going to assume it's Hawaiian salt because it was packed in Hawaii. And then I'm going to mix it with good old olive oil. Now, as you can see, I'm just making small amounts of this stuff. But because this is natural ingredients, you can actually just pop it in the fridge. Then, I'm gonna give our hands, ooh, really good scrub, which is what I need. Now, I recommend taking your rings off for this. However, I just tried to take my ring off and I can't get it off very easily. So I'm just gonna leave it on. It doesn't have any gems or anything in it. So it doesn't really matter if it gets too dirty. You want to give yourself a really good scrub. Backs of your hands. This feels so nice. Now you can use sugar if you want to, but it tends to dissolve quickly. So I think I prefer the salt idea. And you can see it makes a bit of a mess. Oh, this is good. This would be good on your elbows as well and on your feet. So you could always make up a little batch and keep it in your bathroom. A few years ago, one of our co-workers, she had made little... Um, was it sugar scrub or salt scrub? And she had made them in little individual jars and put ribbons around them and put like a little Christmas saying on the top of the jar. It was such a cute gift. You could even do this for Valentine's for someone. You could treat your husband at home to a little spa evening. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this off now. 
So next we're going to do a hand mask and these are the ingredients that you're going to need. The brush is optional. So first we need some oatmeal, a banana, some honey and some milk. And I only have oat milk, so I'm going to use that. So you do only need a little bit of the banana. So make sure you do this when you're hungry. So you can eat the other half. So I say probably about Sorry about this much. Keita, do you want some banana? I don't think Keita likes banana. The other dogs do. Do you want some banana? Do you want to try some? Do some banana? <laughs> you don't like it, do you? Here you go. You want some? No. All right. The other dogs are outside in the sun. It's glorious outside, but Keita didn't want to go outside. So I'm just going to mash this little portion of banana up. Okay, so we're going to add the banana to the oatmeal. A little bit of honey. I think I'll mix it up first and see how it goes. Then that'll probably tell me how much milk to add. I don't think you need much milk at all, actually. So we kind of got this consistency. So again, have a towel or something on hand that you can rest your hand on and get nice and comfortable. Now, the reason I said this is optional because you can just paint this on or you can just dip it in. And if you're, if you're wanting to give this like a little treatment to someone, a loved one, I think using a brush just makes the whole experience that much more special, to be honest. Oh, it's really cool and really lovely. Yeah, I like this one. And obviously you can take it up your wrist as well. And this is where it's gonna get messy because we're gonna turn our hand over. Now, if you have any gloves, you can put your gloves on. Obviously it's gonna be messy, but you can put your gloves on, your plastic gloves on, on top of this. And you can even get your hair dryer and just heat up your hands a little bit and really get this mixture deep into your skin gonna turn it over you can see I've got really dry hands and I cannot get this darn ink off my hands I have scrubbed and scrubbed I even used nail varnish remover to try and get this ink off my hands this is what we use at work this this is really nice this is so cooling and I am right-handed so everything I do with my left hand is, is like cack handed now I haven't made this mask before myself I have done oatmeal art masks that I've bought. And you can even put oatmeal, just dump it straight into your bath water. It's really good for if you have like psoriasis or eczema. You can mix it all in your hands if you want. Now I would sit for a good 10, 15 minutes with this on my hands. Really let this soak in. It even smells good because it's banana. Next, we're going to do a cuticle oil. And all you need for this is virgin coconut oil and an essential oil of your choosing so you could use you know your spa scents are lavender and eucalyptus and mint um i do have lavender so i'm going to use a couple of drops of this now i genuinely keep a jar of this either in two places it's either sitting on my dressing table or it's sitting next to my bathroom sink and i use this a lot first of all i love the scent of coconut and this is really really affordable it stretches a lot so when it's cool enough it will solidify but as soon as it warms up it turns into liquid very very easily very very quickly so i'm going to take a spoonful of this and just zap it in the microwave literally for a couple of seconds now I'm gonna heat this coconut oil up before I put the essential oil in because I don't know by heating up essential oil whether it's gonna affect it or not, I don't know. So I'm gonna just heat it up real quick. So that literally was 20 seconds. And because this is virgin coconut oil, it will have tiny little pieces of coconut in there. I'm just gonna add a couple of drops of lavender and give it a little mix. Oh my gosh, I just... I love the scent of lavender so much. I wish we could grow it a little better 
here in Las Vegas. Now, if you can go to a hair supply store and get some of those orange sticks, you can just push back your cuticles. I'm just gonna take my nail and gently push them back. I wish I had smelly vision right now because this smells so good. This would be fun to get all your girlfriends together and have a little spa afternoon. You could gather them around the kitchen counter, play some spa music. And again, with this, if you make a bigger batch, they actually sell those plastic bottles in dollar store and you can bottle it up, put a sticker on it and keep it in your fridge. Lastly, we're going to make a moisturizer, a hand moisturizer. And for this, you will need the same coconut oil. You can, as an option, use some essential, essential oil just to give it a little bit of fragrance. And you will need this aloe vera gel now a small tube like this cost me it was four dollars and i think 19 cents i got this from where did i get this from i just went there i just came back from the store natural grocers <laughs> um you can buy it in a much larger bottle for ten dollars um tub sorry for ten dollars but i just wanted to get a small bottle of this let's see if it has a scent i don't think it will no so I've got my coconut oil already melted in here. I'm gonna do a nice big healthy squeeze of uh, aloe vera gel. Then we're gonna mix it up. Oh, I need a little spoony rooney. Oh, actually, this might be a good thing to mix it up with. Oh yeah. Let me show you the consistency. This is the consistency. That's lovely. Actually, you can just paint this on too. This is really nice. Again, it's really cooling. And I bet this would be good if you had sunburn. Now with that moisturizer, you can also add vitamin E drops. I don't have any of those, but you can always do that. My hands feel amazing. So this is four ounces mixed with some coconut oil. This can stretch quite far and be a really inexpensive hand moisturizer i've really enjoyed doing this video this was really lovely and mm, it smells gorgeous too um, whilst i was in the dollar store i thought i'd try out one of these inexpensive nail varnishes candy moyo color 921 it's a very pale pink so what i'm going to do because i have all this oil on i'm just going to take a paper towel and just wipe my nail beds free of oil so i can paint my nails now what i should have done before i started my hand treatment was, silly me, I should have gone round and sprayed the room with my eucalyptus and spearmint. Uh, actually, this is a pillow mist, but I use it as a room spray too. You can pick this up from Bath and Body Works and they have a whole range of, I think it's bath oils, candles, room sprays, pillow sprays. Um, I think there's like six or eight things in this fragrance and uh, it's just lovely. It's called Stress Relief, this one. They have two other fragrances in their like Stress Relief spa area of the store. I just don't remember what the other two are. I've never bought the other two. I've always gone for this one and I absolutely love it. But also, ask Google to play some lovely spa music and get a really nice true experience of a spa. this video i really enjoy doing this one uh, it's one of my favorite ones that i've done today i want to say i do like this color too it's a very pale pink it went on quite nicely for such an inexpensive nail varnish anywho please visit the other ladies videos that's tina maria and karen as i said they are linked in my description box please say hello from me and uh, i'm off to go watch their videos because i want to see what recipes they're doing um i actually don't know I think they did tell me, but this we discussed this video quite a while ago, so I've actually forgotten what they're doing. I know I was doing the hands, um, so yeah, I'm interested to see what they do. And give this a try at home yourself. It was really inexpensive. You've probably got most of the ingredients in your house already, so uh, give it a go. Why not treat yourself? If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join this channel, and uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye!